Hello everybody, we are going to start the uh, circulatory system. We're going to be looking at arteries and veins um, of the cat. We're going to have a few different videos uh, featuring those. So we're going to start above uh, the diaphragm right now. So if we look here, we can see the heart. Um, so coming off of the heart, you're going to have the ascending aorta. So that little oracle there is kind of in our way, but ascending aorta is here. You're going to see the aortic arch here. And then as we move down and it starts to go down or descend, this is going to be the descending aorta. So we can kind of see that there. Coming off of the aorta, there are two branches here. So we're going to have the brachiocephalic trunk here. And then um, coming off of that aortic arch here is going to be the left subclavian um, artery that comes up and kind of comes around here. So it keeps on traveling around right there. If we follow that brachiocephalic trunk, we can kind of see that it splits into the left common carotid here, so it's coming all the way up here. And then when you get way up here into the head, you look up here, you're going to see that that common carotid makes two splits. So we have this one right here. This is going to be the left internal carotid artery. And then this one right here, where it makes that little fork right there, this is going to be the left external carotid artery here. So common carotid is the left common carotid artery, left internal carotid artery, left external carotid artery. Um, and then over here you can see the right um, common carotid artery and it would come up and split and do the same thing but um, this cat's not dissected on that side so you can't see that. Um, if we look at some of the veins, so instead of having um, the aortic arch and all of that, we're going to see the superior vena cava. So this is superior vena cava. When it splits, you have the right and left um, brachiocephalic vein. So right brachiocephalic vein, left brachiocephalic vein. That is going to split into, um, we're going to see an internal and an external jugular vein. On this cat here, we can see that external jugular vein. It's pretty large. Um, the internals are not great on this one, so we're going to move over to this cat real quickly and kind of show you the, so here's that external. This is going to be the left external uh, jugular vein. And then right here, this little thin blue one, it almost looks like a little like piece of thread or string right there, that's going to be the internal. That's going to be left internal jugular vein. And then over here, this one is still attached. So this one is the right internal jugular vein. So you can see that right there. It's real, real small compared to the, the external. So we can kind of see that with those. One that um, follows this kind of, kind of tucked down here that we're going to look at you kind of see it going behind. It's only on the right side. This is the azagus vein here. So you can see that vein right here. It kind of goes behind um, the heart and the lungs if we're looking back behind there. So that one, um, there's no equivalent with the arteries. As we move kind of out here, some of the arteries and veins are going to have the same name. So remember we had our left subclavian artery here. As this um, brachiocephalic um, vein here splits, it becomes, so when it splits here where you see the external jugular, here we're going to see, like at this point, that's going to be the left subclavian vein. As we move towards that armpit region here, as we look over in here, this is going to be the left um, axillary vein, and then if we follow that, that artery, mixed in with the, the nerve, that brachio, brachial plexus that's in here, you're going to see the, that's where the, kind of see the red right there, that's going to be the um, left axillary artery there. As we move down and get into the major, like where you can really tell this, this is in the arm, you're going to see that this is going to be the left brachial vein and then the red that's in here is going to be, the red that's right in here, that's going to be that left brachial artery there. As you move down towards the elbow region, um, we'll start to see splitting. This one is a little, it's not quite as nice as the other one, so we'll look at this guy real quick to kind of show this one, the ulnar on this one's just really light. You see all three of them really well on this one, it's nice and dark. So when we, we're, here's our brachial the left brachial artery, left brachial vein. 
the vein, if we follow the split there, we get the three. So one, two, and three right here. So this is gonna be the left ulnar vein, the left radial vein, and this one is the left median cubital vein. To see the arteries, the ulnar and radial arteries, we're gonna lift up those muscles there, all those flexors. So here, this is gonna be, the thumb side, this is gonna be the left uh, radial artery, and this over here is the left ulnar artery there. And the only other one that we need to do in the arm, um, as you come down in here, you can see these ones coming down, going down deep in here. So these right here, these are gonna be the subscapular, try to get those out of the way, so right in here. So the red, of course, is the uh, left subscapular artery, and the blue is gonna be the left subscapular vein.